Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV, shouting. I'm in a factory, I'm in Miramar, I'm in Florida. I'm with a group of jail audio dealers, and this is Mr. Steve Teresi, who stood next to a guy called Joel, who is, uh, well, he's in charge of a fiberglassing machine that some of you guys in the UK would give a bollock to own. It's continuous speed, it can do the most absurd thicknesses of fiberglass. Check how this thing goes. Awesome. Check this out. So what he's doing is he's lining the inside of the cardboard with a, a plastic liner. And he'll grab the thing, he'll clean the tip of it, usually. He'll spray it in there, and it just comes out as a liquid. It's the same liquid that we use on that, that part that I showed you in the back. And you see it's starting to slowly grow. What he'll do is he'll, for the moment's right, design it. I love it. Chemistry is cool. So he'll fold the, the liner up over the expanding material. So what this is doing is taking the shape of the cardboard and it's growing. Now he'll take the stealth pot and he'll drop it in there as the foam continues to expand. So it's now gonna take the shape of the stealth box on that side. It's gonna rupture a hole in the plastic. So if you ever get a stealth box in and you see a hole in it, it's not because somebody opened it. The pressure that's being put on the air that's inside of that bag could damage the woofer. So we rupture a hole in there to allow that air to escape to prevent any damage. You can kind of see how tight it fits over here. And if you want, you can feel the side of the box. And it's, it's pretty warm. Put it on the top. Yeah. 
So now what I'll do is I'll line the top of it to take the shape of the top part of the stealth box and the inside of the rest of the cardboard. So effectively what we've done is we have created a pocket of air above and below, below the stealth box to prevent any shipping damage. It's usually good for one or two shipments, definitely one, usually two, possibly three, depending on how far it goes. So if we send it over to Chris and the guys at Celsius, they would hold it in their inventory so when it goes out to you, it's fine. If you try to ship it back, the foam can get a little squirrely at that point, so be careful with it. This is kind of like putting sheets on the bed. Trying to make it always fit is a little difficult. He's pretty good at it. So he'll fill those channels now. Very often he'll put less than he needs rather than more than he needs, because otherwise it causes the box to bulge out. So as that expansion takes place, I'll fold it over, nice and pretty. Cool. Sometimes you'll see smoke coming off of it if it's really hot. The humidity, I think, is too high today. Die, close. I need more. Okay. Be careful. Oh, How cool is that? <laughs> 